disease. I'm so paranoid of Lyme disease. <laughs> Stop crying. <laughs> Crying's good though. Crying's good. Ah! Oh, curve. Curve. Oh! Ah! Hi, I'm Kim Ann, and this is Ron and Lilo. We've been living full time in this truck camper for two years. In my 50s, I decided to stop existing and start living my dreams. I left my life and career to become a nomad and travel. If you like our videos, please subscribe, like, and comment. We'd be so grateful. Ah. Morning view. Mark Twain National Forest. It was super quiet last night. Dogs are ready to go on a hike. So nice. I love staying places like this, like where there's nobody around me. I can't hear anything but nature. Ah, my favorite. <laughs> to take the dogs on this trail. I was bit by a tick in Oklahoma and I'm still trying to figure out, is that, is that a bullseye? Is that a rash? Should I go to the medical clinic? I think I feel like I have a fever. I'm so paranoid of Lyme disease. And in Oklahoma, the dogs kept running into the woods, coming back with ticks on them. And, um, and then I sleep with them. So ticks get on me. So this trail looks lovely, but I'm a little cautious. Okay, so I decided it was safer to walk on the road than to go into the deep woods and risk ticks. But I love going into the deep woods. And sometimes I go without the dogs and just spray myself down and you know leave them in the camper, which is kind of sad because I want to take them, but um, I don't want to get ticks. I don't want them to get ticks. And it happens often. This picture was taken a day after my cousin removed the tick from my inner thigh. Experts say this year is the worst for ticks and tick-borne illnesses. That scares the crap out of me. Mild winters and warmer weather are contributing factors. People commented that I seem to have my dogs on the leash all the time and I do I love taking them off the leash I love letting them run without the leash but these guys are rat terriers and they were bred mosquitoes to um, hunt and kill like small critters so like deep woods like this if they see something they take off and it scares the crap out of me um, I thought Lilo was killed in Oklahoma. I'm going to cry talking about it, but <laughs> she, I opened the door and it was like 11 o'clock at night and she ran into the woods and I, and she was gone for like 20 minutes, wouldn't come back. I was screaming for her and I heard coyotes in the woods and I thought, oh my God, I thought she was killed. And then, ah, uh, she came back <laughs> unharmed. And it just like reminds myself, always put them on the leash because I never, never know when they're just going to take off and they're like in a frenzy and they can't hear me. They just, they just attack whatever, cats, squirrels, groundhogs, turtles, it's armadillos. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> She's safe. She's here. I can get out of that emotional zone. Ah, and we can enjoy our walk. <laughs>
beautiful morning. I do treat the dogs for fleas and ticks preventatively. They have this little, um, this little tag on. It's like a holistic tag. It's supposed to work with their body chemistry. I don't know if it works, but I've been using those. I spray them with like an essential oil spray. I, um, I bathe them with natural fling and tick shampoo. Um, they also have brewer's yeast and garlic supplement in their food. So I rarely do see um, ticks in bed in them. Um, sometimes they're just holding on to their fur and I don't see it and then they jump on me. So we don't like ticks, do we? We hate ticks. So my tick bite was looking worse and I was starting to feel tired and feverish. I needed medical attention but had no cell signal in the woods. I set up my Starlink to get a signal so I can find a health clinic nearby and make some phone calls. The deciding factor for me when I bought the Starlink was for safety and in case of emergency. Starlink is great if you have no cell signal but it does have its pros and cons. You need to put the dish in a location without obstructions and the app can help figure that out for you. I've been in areas densely covered with trees and it wouldn't pick up a signal at all. Also during storms, the signal is spotty or non-existent. My other issue is power when I'm off grid. I use my Jackery 2000 because my camper does not have an inverter. I need to shut it off when I'm not using it because it can quickly run down my battery. That would probably drain my Jackery 2000 in a day. <sighs> Today we're waking up going to a health clinic because I got bit by a tick and it has a rash around it. I don't want to get it checked out. I don't want to leave. Lilo trashed my screen again. Lilo, nature out my window. I love it. I woke up kind of late. I wanted to get up at 6. I woke up at like 7.20 and I have to leave by 8 to go to the medical clinic. So I'm going to take a quick shower. I don't have time for my water to heat up. So I'm doing this cold. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. It wasn't that terrible. I just did a quick Navy shower and I mean, it is July. It's not December, so. Here's my wet bath after my shower. My shower head. I put this little adjuster knob on it because I kept inadvertently squirting myself with this thing. It was just really easy to hit. So, so I put this thing on it and it works really well. 
I'm sad to be leaving this camp spot. Like I get someplace like this that is just quiet and there's no one around and I'm like in a happy town and now I have to run off to a medical appointment and then get back on the road. Oh well, I can always come back. Right, Lily, we can always come back. She's ready to go. No. Whoa! Oh, shiitake. Whoa! Ah! We made it! It's okay, we're on. We're on pavement now. My GPS isn't working and I don't know where I'm going. This morning I turned on the Starlink to download the directions from the GPS, but they didn't stay in there. So I'm like, I don't know where the hell I'm going. I do have a map, but I don't know where I am. <laughs> like yesterday I should have downloaded the directions. I think you can download them offline. Sheesh, what didn't I think of that? But I was thinking of just you know, writing them down old school, but now I'm kind of screwed because I'm just driving around in, where am I? Mark Twain National Forest. <laughs> not knowing, not knowing which direction to go in. And I can't call these people. Uh, I'll work it out. Ah! Hey, my GPS kicked in and I'm only 14 minutes away. Woo! <laughs> Flipping out for nothing. Oh wow, I'm gonna make my appointment. Happy day, and it's a gorgeous morning. So I just had my appointment and they're going to put me on preventative antibiotics for tick-borne illnesses. So we're off to the pharmacy to pick that up and then headed to Illinois to see my mom. So I have to wait 20 minutes for my prescription. So I'm going to make some chai tea while we're waiting. I just picked up my prescription, took my first dose of preventative antibiotics for tick-borne illnesses, and now I have to figure out where I'm going. Okay, so we are en route to go see my mom. The campground's like six hours away. They had availability, so um, I'll see her tomorrow. And this is my birth mom. I was adopted, and I found my birth mom when I was 50 years old, so eight years ago. And we've had a relationship ever since and it's been it's been life-changing to you know to get to know her and like, I get emotional because even though I love my adopted parents with all my heart it's just like a missing part of me 
all my life until I, I knew who my birth mom is and who my birth father was. And he's passed like a lot of self acceptance from just knowing, you know, who I, who I'm, I come from. Okay. <laughs> I'll stop crying. <laughs> Crying's good though. Crying's good. All right. I'm getting on the road now. <laughs> staying in the Ozark Mountains in Missouri. My tick bug rash is gone and I'm doing so much better. Thank y'all for coming along with us. We appreciate you so much. And as always, be kind, especially to yourself. And we'll see you next time where we stop in Illinois to see my mom and travel further north. I'm sending warm fuzzy vibes, always.